Greetings guys, this is Tokraft and welcome to another tank review and today I am reviewing the Matilda, the British tier 4 medium tank guys. This thing is absolutely overpowered and I will cover everything you need to know about this tank in this review. First of all, starting with the mobility as usual, afterwards the gun and finally of course it's armor and we will take a look at how the Matilda is going to perform in a replay. So guys, let's go. So guys, first of all the mobility as I promised, but I first want to read them some main stats about this vehicle. This tank has got 317 hit points. It is just shy of 27 tons fully equipped. Engine power is 190 and that gives it a horrible top speed limit of 24 kilometers an hour that is one of the disadvantages of this tank the top speed limit is not very high but you will see in the armor profile what you get back for it <laughs> traverse speed is 30 yeah yeah 36 degrees a second that is pretty nice i like the traverse speed of this tank turret traverse speed is also pretty nice i like the mobility apart from the top speed limit but it's quite nice, I have to say. So guys, let's now take a look at the gun of the tank, of course. Let's pop it up for you guys. As you can see, we are looking at the gun of the Matilda. It has a 40mm, yeah, it is a 40mm. That's the caliber of the gun, so this is only 40 millimeters. But it doesn't matter, and it has a an astonishing rate of fire, 28.5 rounds a minute. Yeah, 0.6 actually, 28.6 rounds a minute. That is absolutely insane with an incredible penetration for its tier, 121. That's one mil one millimeter more than the KV1. That is just uh, I don't even have words for it. But guys, every shot you fire you've got an alpha damage of 55 so uh, just that is just oh my god this this is just absolutely insane it has got a accuracy of 0 0.36 which might look a bit disappointing but I think that the gun is a little bit more accurate than the stats are telling me and if you miss a shot it does not really matter because you can shoot another one in just 2.01 seconds which is the actual gun reload time the aim time is 1.9 seconds, which is also really, really, really good. So guys, look forward to an absolute punch from this gun. If you meet one of these tanks, you really have to be afraid of one of these tanks. That's always the key to success in the Matilda. You have to try to keep the gun singing. The gun is your key to victory and your armor is the key to survival. Where are we going to look at now? So guys, we are looking at Tank Inspector again, looking at the Matilda armor, Matilda's armor profile, so let's take a look. As you can see, the red armor is 78mm on the front of the tank. The Matilda itself, overall, is really, really, really well armored for its tier. It's absolutely insane. As you can see, it has a spaced armor plate here on the side of the tank, which gives it a very big armor value on the side of the tank as you can see 150 if you angle 45 degrees I said this is I should always angle the tank at 45 degrees because as you can see the frontal armor of this tank is a lot weaker than the side armor so I would always angle the tank you now 35 degrees at least 45 at least that gives you the highest chance of bouncing because if you show the side of the tank reaction of most players is they will shoot the side of the tank where the most armor is located but as you can see you can always shoot through the spaced armor because as you can see there's no spaced armor at this place here so you have to be quite lucky that they don't shoot this place but most tanks in tier 4 don't have over 100 penetration or above 80 penetration so it doesn't even matter in higher tiers you have to yeah angle a bit more and more think about your movements should always side scrape about 
against higher tier vehicles. Never, ever, ever angle against them. Yeah, you might get lucky and they would shoot into your tracks. But I would never take the risk. If you are trying to engage higher tier targets, always try to side scrape because they will only be able to shoot the side of your tank, of course. The hull itself, mainly 75 on the front, 70 on the sides and 55 on the rear. Which is absolutely insane for a vehicle that is only tier 4. Let's take a look at the turret now. The turret in the front is absolutely insane. It is. It has a gun mantlet which has some troll parts as you can see. Sometimes 170, 150 ricochets, automatic ricochets. I saw a small place, 230. Look at that, that is absolutely insane. The turret itself mainly has 75 millimeters all around. There's no weak points. Even the Kyopolar is 75 millimeters. So, if you are a small tier 4 tank and you've got less than 75 penetration, the Kyopolar on top of this tank is not a weak point. Not at all. It is 75 millimeters all round. But the Matilda doesn't even bother about shooting Kyopolars. The penetration of this gun is just absolutely insane, as I showed you in the garage. But guys, side scraping is what you should do. Angling the tank always at 30, 45 degrees is what you should do. But there's one disadvantage at the angling of course. As you can see there's some sloped here. Which is sloped if you have the tank standing like this. But if you angle the tank this will of course get a flat side of armor where you have... Wow. I saw a place where it was really... Oh uh, here. But never mind that. As you can see this blade here will become flush for the enemy. So you also have to hope... That they don't shoot that. What you can do if you can see that they are aiming for this flush spray. You can drive backwards and forwards. Just the same techniques as I showed you with the VKP. Or you can drive backwards and forwards if you are hard down. And it will be even harder for the enemy to hit your cupolas or the side of your turret. Where it is weakly armored and on the mantlet. So guys that was the armor profile. Let's now take a look at the replay. Alright guys, here we go in the Matilda on Hidden Village. A lot of you guys who are subscribed to my channel for a longer time and have seen my T3285 video, he bombs it around 8 kills, will remember the spot where I went into. And that is of course here on the map at E3 I think it is, yes E3. And I wanted to go there again because I knew I had to keep the gun singing in this map and in this tank. So that was my plan. So I'm driving off towards that place now, thinking that my gun is going to be used in that spot, but I, I'm going to be wrong. Keep an eye on that mid ridge over there, and I accidentally hit one of my teammates there. And you can already see the great, 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 great rate of fire and work there. Yep. Enemy armor is damaged. Got him. And he's gone. That's the first victim claim. And look at the mid ridge, guys. There's a crap load of enemy tanks there. SU-85B. Enemy is hit. Is no is taking hit. some fire Crack in hit. the side from the Panzer 4A. But as you can see, my spaced enemy armor eats all of the that damage. Even though enemy I wasn't angling, so that is really, really good for me. That shows you just how good the armor on this tank is. And I've already penetrated 10 shots there. Which gives me just shy upon 500 damage. Penetration. There's another shot. And then 3 Lee, but there's a T1 in the way. Ooh, we tuned up hit. with a tier 3 or something. There's the M3 medium. And he's gone. But then I see the steward aiming at me and I immediately try to angle my tank but then I realize Oh, it's not needed, he can't penetrate me But then I think, okay, let's keep going, I still want to go to that place But then I realize, oh god, there's so many tanks in the heavy place I'm not even needed there anymore And I think 
Okay, let's just go to the mid ridge. Let's support those guys. Matilda. Never let a Matilda shoot your side, I mean Matilda. Very wise lesson. No idea how that shot bounced. Looks like my shot got eaten by his tracks as well. But we are still going. We're driving downhill with 26, 25 kilometers an hour, which is not bad. And up into this game, I haven't lost a health point yet. Still got all my health left. Really weird shot there. Why I shot the front of an angle T32. T34, excuse me. As you can see, I am just shooting between this guy's head. Enemy armor is damaged. Another shot into him, but he's dead. I knew that that tank was really lightly armored, so I wanted to keep going. And then I see, oh god, almost every single tank in the middle of the map has died. So then I realize, oh god, I was needed in the middle. But okay, can't do anything about it. I can see the KV-1 driving towards this way, so I am going here to hopefully find some cover and engage that guy on my own. BT-7 definitely leaves some help here. There's three enemy tanks surrounding us. I first want to engage the KV-1 because, uh, because he's of course the most dangerous enemy tank. He shoots, I can see he has fired, put a shot in, but then he angles my tank. And he shoots me on the move, but I am angling, now I'm over angling a slightly bit, but the BT-7 pushed my body into a perfect angle against this KV-1. So the second shot got eaten by my tracks, really nice. And now as you can see I'm just unloading on this KV-1. And the KV-1 makes a huge mistake by aiming at the BT-7 instead of me. He should have just kept shooting me. Wise lesson. Never ever ever let a Matilda shoot you again and again and again and again. Really wise lesson. Well now, I'm a bit worried about the KV-1S because I don't really know where he is. So I am trying to find some cover here. Find a good sniping position and there's also a T... 76 no a 67 excuse me t67 around somewhere so I do have to be careful the t67 can easily yeah easily easily take me out before I can even take him out his DPM is even more ridiculous than mine so I do have to keep an eye out give you one as a slot spotted on the other side of the map and as you can see 82 is camping t25 is AFK and now the Panzer 3 just goes in he goes right in and wants to know where he is and there he is and now I think oh my god that guy screwed but luckily the T67 only has 40 health remaining and he does some great work there by killing that guy well now I've found an even more useful sniping position I've got the cover of this rock so any fire that should come from the city should be blocked by this rock. Well now the Panzer 3 is capping uh, a strength cap. I'm still waiting here to, to find the KV-1S. Don't worry where he is. And I'm just waiting for the game to develop. As you can see I've already done 13,000 damage. That is just shy up on 25 shots penetrated. And I've still got mm, half of my health left good game so far if it used to end here it would still be a great game absolutely insane looking around to try to the ambush on the KV-1S but there he is he's driven towards our base but oh yes Enemy is hit. his side is turned towards me oh yes Enemy armor is hit. and I'm just unloading on him as Enemy if it's nothing the DPM of this tank is absolutely insane. Almost 1600 damage, take a few blind shots. But then he is spotted again. I wait, I wait, I wait. And I start shooting again. Enemy is hit. Enemy armor is damaged. Oh my yes, gosh, this is just the perfect scenario for this hit. tank. Enemy armor but is damaged. then the 82 takes my last kill. 
But still, this has been an absolutely insane match for this tank. I've picked up 1860 damage. That is absolutely insane. That's a new record for me. New damage record in my Matilda. This tank is just absolutely overpowered. So guys, let's now take a look at the post-game stats. So guys, these are the post-game stats of that game. As you can see, it's not even surprising we got a Mastery Ace Tanker badge. And we've got the metal Shell Proof. Blocking um, yeah, as much damage, exceeding your hit points. We've got Fire for Effect as we did more damage than our hit points. We've got Bruiser for damaging at least 5 crew injuries to the enemy. And we've got the Confederate Metal. As you can see, we did 1858 damage and 3 kills giving us 1059 base experience. And of course, that has to be an Ace Tanker badge for this tank. As you can see, we did by far get the most experience on both teams and the most damage on both teams. But surprisingly, the 82, yeah, you can't see it right now, but the 82 got the high caliber. I didn't really weird how that worked out i think he got the high caliber because he got more kills than i did we fired 53 shots of which only 43 hits and 37 penetrated giving us a damage total of 1058 as i've already told distance from 700 meters 771 damage i think that is most of that damage is made onto the kv1s at the end of the game Hits received 8, penetrations 3, non-penetrations 5. Well, I have to highlight, I've only been penetrated by the KV-1 once, but World of Tanks counts shots that went into tracks as a penetration, so in fact I've actually only taken one shot that did damage to me. Damage blocked by armor, 430, and it was not really anything special but I showed you guys how to angle the tank and how to lick the gun singing that is the most important thing in the Matilda keep that gun singing so guys this has been the Matilda review hopefully this was useful to you I've explained anything in my experience with this tank I absolutely love this tank I fully recommend this tank you should get this tank it's absolutely a fun tank to drive so guys i hope you like this review please leave a like as i did put a lot of time in making this video and i will see you next time